Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. All right, today we're gonna look at the Roadhouse deck. Now the Roadhouse deck was a collaboration between Daniel Madison and uh, the illusionist designer, Oban Jones. Uh, it was Daniel's dream, Daniel's wish, to make a deck that paid tribute to or looked similar to the classic steamboat deck. Okay, so if you have a deck of steamboats, uh, you might know uh, what those look like. They are a casino deck. They are a uh, thicker stock deck. And so this is Daniel and Oban's version of what the illusionist's uh, take would be on that deck. They say that the chase is better than the Doesn't matter how good your play is, it only matters how good you are. Gambler doesn't really care about winning. He only cares about And good things come to those who The true player finds the thrill in the anticipation of the turn of a single These are the Roadhouse playing cards by Oban Jones and The front of the tuck case says 016, 16, uh, playing cards and Roadhouse there. And then in the corners up here, very small, uh, you have the initials for Daniel Madison and Oban Jones. This side says made in the USA. This side says 16 Roadhouse. The bottom, of course, always has ad copy about Illusionist, and the top says Roadhouse Poker. The back design is more the back design of the Ace of Spades, so it's very simplified. It's not the back design of the cards. It says 16 Roadhouse at the top, it says Illusionist trademark, and then says the Illusionist playing card company down here at the bottom. The tuck flap says traditional cut, gambler's finish, and then right here on the little flaps there is an R for Roadhouse. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The Roadhouse playing cards come from Bicycle, so they come from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their retail stock. They do have a traditional cut and they do have a air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below on the description. I will say that the Roadhouse cards are extremely thin. They're extremely pliable cards. Uh, when I measure these cards uh, with the caliper, they come up with one of the most uh, lowest numbers I've ever seen. So they're some of my thinnest cards I've ever owned. Okay, thinner than a normal uh, retail stack. So these are really soft, very buttery cards. They're gonna feel like they're broken in when you take them out of the box. Okay, um, which kind of runs a little bit against the theme of the deck. I mean, the theme of the deck is they're supposed to be like, uh, like bees, like casino cards, like casino stock. And so I don't want you to think that these are casino grade stock. They're made to look like casino cards, but they are not casino stock. So these are not thick cards. They are completely thin, very, very thin, like your best pair of jeans thin, okay? So like they are really, really thin. The Roadhouse back design is a repeating image that goes all the way to the borders, which which is standard for a casino design. Uh, casinos generally don't like to have borders. Uh, in the past, uh, not so much now, but in the past, uh, it used to be because people used to mark the edges uh, so that they would be able to recognize cards when they saw them again. And so they started making uh, cards without borders for casinos so that uh, it would make uh, card sharks Make, them, make it more difficult for them to cheat. Does that make sense? Okay. Right there in the center of the design, there is a spoked wheel that says Roadhouse on the top and bottom. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of extras, the first of which is a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. And as your gaff card, you're actually gonna get an extra card. So you're gonna get an extra nine of clubs, which is great for magic tricks as well. With this deck, you're gonna get two jokers that are not completely identical. Uh, it's an open door with the devil's tail hanging through it. Uh, Daniel Madison says that this was inspired by a tattoo from Mark Calabrese, who is another uh, illusionist magician. 
This joker has a quote below the doorframe. Uh, one quote says, gambling is an agreement between a fool and a thief. And the second one says, cards, the devil's prayer book. Now, the devil's prayer book or the devil's picture book or the devil's Bible uh, used to be a nickname for the deck of cards given to decks of cards by the church. The church took a strong stand against card games until recently uh, preachers and churches used to warn people about the dangers of cards, primarily because people used to use cards for gambling. So it was a way of you know, leading your life down the wrong path, or they would use cards for uh, necromancy. They would use it for you know, determining the future, using it for fortune telling. And so some of the most common places you would see then uh, decks of cards besides your house you know, would have been with prostitutes or gamblers or thieves or murderers or in taverns or brothels or prisons or insane asylums or gambling dens, right? But never in a prayer meeting. And so the deck of cards used to get this bad reputation as being the devil's Bible, okay? So here on the Ace of Spades, you have that same design that was on the back of the tuck case. It says 16 Roadhouse across the top, Illusionist California trademark, and then the bottom says the Illusionist Playing Card Company. The pips and indice cards with this deck are all completely standard and will be instantly recognizable. The court cards are also mostly standard, however you will see some original colorings. The spade courts have been completely stripped of color and they are all completely black. And there is also one custom king amongst the black cards. The king of spades is a depiction of Owen Jones, the artist. The red cards have two colors, red and black, and the king of diamonds is of course Daniel Madison. Well, that is it for my review of the Roadhouse deck from Illusionist.com, Daniel Madison, and Oban Jones. And if you'd like to purchase this deck, you can find it currently at Illusionist.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, I won't stop you. I'm at Facebook.com slash Magic Orthodoxy, Twitter.com slash Magic Orthodoxy, Instagram.com slash Magic underscore Orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can find it at MagicOrthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.